Hi, I'm Eric Bossy. I'm with the Aldrich Bookstore. The back pages of some books, particularly older books from the um, 19th, 18th, 17th century, you're going to find um, oftentimes advertisements, which are um, other books available from the publisher that they gave you this book, um, that were available at the time of this book's publication. This is of invaluable information when it comes down to the research trying to find out if the book that you have in your hand is a first edition, first printing. Um, you have to look at very specific bibliographies and that's where the research might take you um, a fair amount of time because it might be as simple a case as finding out that this particular book should have 40 pages of ads to make it a first edition first printing and anything that has more than that is going to be a subsequent edition and and worth somewhat less or a great deal less. Another important terminology is the binding of a book. The binding of course is is the covers and, and what is covering the cover. Um, here we'll call this cloth, that's the terminology that is used for the most part although this is paper here and this is cloth here. But this, this would be considered a cloth binding. Um, this, as a paperback, would be, uh, the binding would either be wraps or a paper binding. Um, and uh, oftentimes you'll see leather bindings offered for sale. This is a full leather-bound book. Leather is covering all of the board. And... Um, Often also you see these very decorative uh, leather-bound books where we've got some oftentimes decorative paper and sometimes cloth. Um, but the spine, part of the cover, and sometimes the corners are bound in leather. And um, this is a little slippery terminology. I've seen these books referred to as half-bound, and I've seen them referred to as three-quarter-bound.